Yo, I'm Marcel Fischer and today we're going to have a look at the Berlin Formula E track and why they can race at this track at the normal way and just one day later at the other way. They race at the same track, normal and backwards. It's an incredible masterpiece of designing, so let's have a look now. So here we are at the Berlin Ypres track and as you can see it's built on an old airport from Berlin, Tempelhofer Feld and that means they have a lot of room to play with because there are no buildings in the way or whatever at the tracks where they usually race in cities like Rome or Paris they have to build the track within the existing buildings but here at the old airport they have all the room they want so they can build a perfect track so as we come up to turn number one now at the normal way it's a long left hand corner and you can see already here at the right hand side there's a runoff area which you usually don't need if it's just a long left hand corner why is there such a big runoff at the right hand side and that's because at the other way around that's the final corner as you accelerate out of the corner if you maybe lose the back end of your car or have a touch with someone then you need this little bit more room here at the exit of the corner generally they are just very small details they have to change to the backwards layout one of them is this curb here at the inside of term number one or at the last corner for the backwards layout they just remove it because you don't need this inside curb at the acceleration phase out of the corner Another thing they have to change is the wall at the inside here because if you come up from the backwards layout you could drive directly into the wall so they just moved it a little bit more to the inside so yeah just very small changes that you can do in time so you can drive one day later because it's a double header in Berlin Saturday normal layout Sunday backwards layout they can run at the backwards layout. So now let's continue on the circuit. Now here this double right hand corner, uh, there are basically no changes for the backwards layout. They just move the tackle barrier because you don't need it at the normal layout here at the left hand side. But for the backwards layout it's better to have it there but you don't need it at the entry of the corner for the backwards layout. Curbs stay all the same here. Now we're coming up to this left hand corner and you can see already again there's a lot of runoff at the right hand side which you don't need at the normal layout but you need it at the backwards layout. So they change just the tech probe barrier here but the runoff is perfectly designed for both directions. Okay obviously these guys are not there at the backwards layout because you would run just into him but you can see as you come up to this corner backwards you just need this run off there on the left hand side they just build it for both directions as i said earlier uh, at the beginning it's just an incredibly masterpiece of designing this racetrack so it's possible to run it both ways which is no, usually not possible for any other circuit or permanent circuit. As we come up to turn number six at the normal layout and also this, this whole runoff area here is designed for both directions. They just have to change the tech barriers uh, before the walls. But there's no gap here, there's just a very small gap where these three guys are to remove any car which stopped here at the circuit another good example now this here is a right corner and you have a massive runoff here at the left side obviously it's for the backwards layout so if you if your brakes fails or whatever your locker up spin you have this runoff area here at the right hand side now turn number nine uh, very slow hairpin and also the run of design for both directions with the walls here the gap uh, behind the wall so you can't leave the track at this area here and now the interesting thing is the exit from the normal pit lane before they raced backwards at Berlin the exit was straight to the track but now they have this little chicane here in it and that's because 
the entry for the backwards layout is this here. If there would be no chicane into it, if your brakes fail, you're completely racing into the pit lane and that's too dangerous for the people there. So they built this uh, chicane, so you slow down before already and then you can drive into the pit lane safely. Then it's all changes to the Berlin Ypri track. Yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video and I see you soon.